Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Lifestyle of Adri. Today we're talking all about baby dental hygiene. Do you even really need to worry about this too much? Yes, you do. This is super, super, super important and some things I had to learn the hard way and it really sucked. I am here to share my tips and knowledge on baby dental hygiene with you guys throughout these years because it's really not that simple and something that you might not even think is that complicated, but it can be that complicated. So in today's video, I'm going to touch up on the products that I have used, things that I've tried, what worked for me, what didn't work for me. So one of Hudson's dental appointment was pushed back for months because of COVID going on, which I totally understand, but I just had the appointment with the dentist. So I kind of want to share all the tips and tricks that I learned as well, the stuff that he taught me and the things to look out for in this video. Also, before I start this video, I just want to say, if you guys like it, hit that like button, bell, comment, subscribe. We are building this channel and it's going to be awesome. What do you have to lose? Nothing. I do want to put out a disclaimer. I am not a dentist. I am not a professional. I'm not here trying to give you medical advice. I'm just telling you what worked for my baby and the things that his personal dentist had told me and let me know as well. All right, so first we're going to start off on toothpaste. When he was little and I first had to start brushing his teeth, this is the one that I just had on hand for my sister. So this is the one that I used automatically. And honestly, this is probably the one that most parents gravitate towards because it's the one that they just know the most just from seeing or using themselves when they were a kid. First is this Crest cavity. So the children's Crest is about 250 to $4.99 depending on what size tube you get. It's the one most recognizable. It's probably the one most people tend to gravitate towards. However, I did choose a different one for Hudson. The brand that I chose to use mostly was the Toms of Maine. These are just the ones that I saw at Target. I mean, I kind of read, oh, natural, kind of read what was in them, and I gave it a go. I mean, don't come for me if it's not the best or the safest for my baby. I just made the best choice with the knowledge that I knew at that time. Sometimes people can't always afford the top of the line, and they have to pick and choose of what they have. That's really the perspective that I like coming from. I am a single parent. I do provide for my son financially 100%. So sometimes I can't buy the most expensive. So I just try to go for what I think would be best with what I can afford. And that's just life right now. Here is the fluoride free version. This one retails for about $3.50 at Target. The tube is a little bit smaller, as you can tell. Um, but they use such a tiny amount. It's lasted me forever. I mean, he's two, almost two and a half. There's like maybe two thirds of it still left in the tube. And this was a fluoride free that I started using when he was really little. Up until now, I still use it. The other one that I did start to use here and there is the Toms of Maine Natural Fluoride. And this is that one. I got the strawberry fruit, whatever flavor. So the bigger tooth, so the bigger tooth, oh my God, what is the matter with me? So the bigger toothpaste is $3.99 at Target. It's really not that much of a difference. Another thing that I do use are these little flossers. And they usually come with a coupon. The coupon is still inside because I haven't had to get a new pack. The baby flossers are $2.79 at Target, which is really cheap for a big bag considering how long it will last you. A little bit after quarantine started and his dentist canceled his appointment, I started noticing a lot of browning on his bottom teeth. And I am telling you, this freaked me out. Ow, it scared the crap out of me. I try to be really good with no sugar. He doesn't drink any juice whatsoever. And I could not figure out what the heck this was. Were his teeth rotting? Was it cavities? What is going on? So I contacted his dentist. I sent them in pictures and they kind of gave me some tips and tricks to help, which is why I have both toothpaste on hand. Now what his dentist told me at his last appointment was don't give him fluoride toothpaste every day. If babies ingest too much fluoride, they can get really, really sick, which I didn't know. I was already alternating, but now I actually alternate even a little bit less. I do use this Tom's fluoride toothpaste about twice a week, not two days a week, but twice maximum a week because he can't really spit toothpaste out yet. You know, he's still in that habit where he swallows it or we're teaching him to spit and he'll just kind of but it doesn't go anywhere, you already swallowed it. So I use this two times a week to make sure his teeth are getting, you know, a little bit of coating on them. And everyday use, I use this one, the all natural fluoride free because it's much safer for him. So when I send in those pictures of the staining, he just said be very mindful of his brushing and flossing, which I already was doing, but he would have sweet treats here and there. I mean, let's be honest, what baby doesn't? I just cut those out. I completely cut those out for a while. I just had to be really, really vigorous about it. I would brush and floss his teeth 
three times a day. I know I sound like a freaking crazy person, but I had to do that to remove that staining. Um, I was really worried of his cavities, but after seeing his dentist last week, he told me it was probably just staining and then I did a good job getting it off. I would brush his teeth in the morning before I took him to school, daycare, we call it school. I would brush it right when I got off work and brought him home and then I would brush it before bedtime and that's just what I had to do daily for a while and all the staining was gone. At first I was really worried they were caries because as a parent, it's so easy to go down that rabbit hole. That freaking rabbit hole, it drives me crazy. Um, that rabbit hole, don't do it. But at first I thought it was caries and I was really, really concerned, but his dentist said it was probably just some staining. And good job, mom. And if you're a parent, anytime someone tells you you're doing a good job, it always feels good. You don't need validation from others, but let's be real, it really does feel good when his doctor or your dentist or somebody is telling you, hey, you're doing a great job. So let's start with the brushes that I used. So one thing that I bought him before he even had teeth coming through was the baby banana. And this is the baby banana infant teether. Um, it looks like a little banana and then they chew it and it looks like they're eating a banana. It's so cute. Everything on this list, I pretty much got from Target. So those are where I'm gonna source my prices from. If you're watching this in the future, prices may vary. There's your disclaimer. Um, so the baby infant banana was $6.99 at Target. I bought him two. I had one in the diaper bag and then one at home in his little play area. And he loved it. He chewed that thing all the time. It was a really great teether for him. And when he got a little bit older, it kind of doubled as a toothbrush, you know, when he started gnawing at it and stuff like that. But it was really freaking adorable. Once he started to have teeth popping through his bottom gums, I got him the, ugh, this is a tongue twister, Frida Baby Smile Brush Finger Brush. Frida Baby Smile Finger Frida Brush. Ugh, is that right? Hold on, let me check my notes. Frida Baby Smile Frida Finger Brush. Nailed that. Frida Baby Smile Frida Finger Brush. Yes. And that little baby retails for $7.99 at Target. Now, this one is adorable. It literally is like a little finger thing you slip on your finger and you brush their teeth. The one thing I really like about the Frida Baby brand is they're not just a straight brush. They're kind of concave. So if you're rubbing their teeth, they're making sure to get all sides of them. And that's what I really like. Once or twice a day, I would just put this on my finger and just rub his teeth. And he actually loved it. He totally let me do it. We had no problems with it. Um, It is silicone, so it's really soft for their little gums. You can use this product from about six months up until a year and eight bucks to spend for six months isn't bad. It's a good in between to get whatever they had on there. You know, milk leaves a lot of sugars, whether it's your breast milk, whether it's formula, whether it's whatever. And once you start feeding them, they got a lot of buildup on their little itty bitty teeth, which are so delicate as well. So this is really good to kind of get in there, you know, get it all around. So once it got a little bit bigger, I went to the Frida Baby Smile Tooth Hugger, and it's the same concept as the little baby finger brush. It's rounded, it's not straight. Let me try to get a good angle so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It will brush their teeth all the way around. It kind of hugs their teeth, and these are great because sometimes a standard toothbrush like his Spider-Man when he got from the dentist, right here, it's a lot for a baby's mouth to be going all the way in and behind and stuff like that. This one's really nice because you only have to do minimal moving and minimal motion and you'll make sure to get around all of the teeth. This one you have to maneuver a lot better. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with these. A lot of parents end up using these products because it's what they know, what they're used to, it's what they can afford. So that's not a problem and that's understandable. I did use this little tooth hugger toothbrush until he was two years old. So from about one to two, this is the one that I used all the time. Once he started getting those, what I thought were caries or staining on his teeth was when I actually switched away from this and got something a little more heavy duty and a little more powerful. So this one is about nine to ten dollars at Target. There's also deals that are two for 17 on Target.com. And I should mention they do come in multicolors. So if you have a girl and you want that pink, they got you. So moving on to my everyday go-to now, I use this amazing <laughs> electronic toothbrush. It is your standard children's electronic battery-operated Oral-B toothbrush. 
He loves Toy Story, so Buzz Lightyear, that was his jam. This guy is super reasonable, $4.99 at Target, and that is a bargain. Yes, you have to buy the batteries as well. This thing did wonders. It was so great for him. All of his staining went away relatively quickly. Seeing how well this worked on his teeth even made me go out and buy my own electronic toothbrush. I do use the Burst toothbrush now for myself because I was so blown away by how well this one worked. So when they get a little bit older and they start having a lot of teeth, I totally recommend these. They're cheap, they're affordable, they work really well, and they get to pick whatever cool characters that they want. This thing was really, really, really great. I can't recommend it enough as a cheap, affordable option for your baby's teeth and it probably does the best job anyways. These two are definitely my top winners. So now that I went through all of the products that I used on my own son, let's answer some questions. Why so many dang products? Like, damn girl, can't you just get one toothbrush? Babies have different stages in their lives and they're all very important. When they're little, you can't use the electric toothbrush or the cheap Spider-Man toothbrush because it's very painful. Their gums are very sensitive. So you wanna have products for the different stages that they go through. All of those toothbrushes together maybe totaled 20 to $30 and that's for two years worth. So if you break it down, $15 a year is not that bad considering one of them I still even use today. Another thing, no vitamin gummies. I know vitamin gummies are great. A lot of people recommend them, but try to give them their vitamins and their healthy nutrients through their food, especially if you're using a non-fluoride toothpaste. You have to be very careful with sticky sugars like that, things that will stay on the teeth. Once you started eating those, those really affected their teeth. And some of you parents may be like, you're an idiot. Don't you already know not to give them their baby things? No, I don't know not to give them those baby things okay obviously which is why I'm telling you in this video whatever dude I'm a single parent sometimes if I need to go to the bathroom in peace I will give him a damn gummy so he's okay chill out don't be that judgmental parent anyways nobody likes those judgmental parents nobody likes those judgmental parents anyways bye with your judgmental ass another major 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 tip that I cannot stress enough is once you brush your baby's teeth that is it it only water from then on now i never ever in my life have given hudson a sip of juice i am so strict about the juice no juice water milk or breast milk or formula or whatever he was on that's all i gave him if you have a baby who's breastfeeding this doesn't really apply to you because you're waking up throughout the night constantly having to feed them so you don't really have an option here but if your baby is old enough and they're sleeping through the night after that last cup of milk or breast milk and you brush their teeth, that's it. Only give them water from then on. So by this I mean if your baby is past the stage of waking up throughout the night constantly hungry, this is for you. They wake up in the middle of the night and they want something to drink, water. Because milk has a ton of sugar. Even low fat milk has a ton of sugar and that is what sticks to their teeth. Just be very diligent about that because after you brush their teeth and you give them more milk, that sugar or whatever is in there sits on their teeth the whole entire night. It's basically a breeding ground for sugar and bacteria and whatever the heck they have in their mouths. So once you give them a nice clean mouth before bedtime, keep it that way. Only water, it'll do a lot less damage, and this is what his dentist was very, very adamant about, which I have been pretty good about myself, actually. I usually, once I brush his teeth, I only give him water. But, you know, it's a great reminder for all of you parents out there. I hope you take care of your baby's little chompers because they are so important to chomp, chomp, chomp. You know, they need them to to eat. All right guys, it's that time. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up on the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Bing. I post every Monday because Monday suck. Let's be real. So why not bring a little bit of sunshine to the first day of the week that everybody dreads. Threads. Thanks for joining Lifestyle of Adri. I'm your girl Adri and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.